Hello and welcome to Cage Warriors 40 from the HMV Forum in Kentish Town, North London. It's a really atmospheric old venue, this place, and we've got a sellout crowd here too, and that's as it should be, because it's a really fascinating fight card. We have 11 pro bouts in the HMV Forum tonight, with six feature fights bringing together some of the most explosive international MMA talent around, both male and female. You'll see the hard-hitting Lithuanian Antonis Jasbutis against the flame-haired stand-up Scotsman Graham Turner. There's an all-Irish fight with Tom Lights Out Maguire taking on the undefeated, quick finishing Joe Duffy. The diminutive German, Andreas Bernhardt, will fight. The European champion, the Tigerish, Paul McVeigh. And our main event in Cage Warriors 40, the hugely experienced American, Roxanne Modaferi, is up against the surgeon, Rosie Sexton, ranked number three in the world at the moment. Antanas Jasbrutus is a tough-talking Baltic hard man. He learned his trade back home in Lithuania and is now hoping to impress on a bigger stage. Hi, my name is Antanas Jasbrutus. I'm a professional mixed martial arts fighter from Lithuania. Tonight I represent Trojan Free Fighters Chelvnam. I started the MMA 19 years old. My style is like a freestyle, which is beauty of MMA. Yeah? We can transfer from boxing, Thai boxing, wrestling or even BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu styles. Fighting with Scottish guy, Graham Turner. He has pretty nice records, so tonight I'm gonna be giving some pressure and beat his record. He's a very aggressive fighter, stand up like a Thai boxer, and I know that I'm ready, definitely 100% for this. All-rounder Graham Turner has an exemplary martial arts background, the no-nonsense Scotsman, has major ambitions now in the world of MMA. My name is Graham Turner, fighter of Dinkin Inches Lanark. I'm 5 foot 10, my fight record's 17, 6 and 1. Started off with karate and then went on to kickboxing, then Thai boxing, then started doing wrestling and jets and then had my first MMA fight and ever since then I've just never looked back. Just loved it. As a fighter I'm quite complete but my main strength is obviously is my stand-up as a came from a stand background. If he wants to stand, he'll stand. If he's wanting to get into wrestling me, I'll happily wrestle with him and you know, just get him down before he gets me down. As soon as I get into the cage, as soon as I go into my fight stance, that's it. It's just like second nature. Just everything clicks in together. So we welcome Antennas Jazz Bootis to the Cage Warriors cage. He's representing Trojan Free Fighters. It's a very proud Lithuanian. I've got to say, Trojan Free Fighter is a great name for a fight team. Now, he took this contest with six days' notice, uh, but he's been quoted as saying he's always wanted to entertain on the Cage Warriors with Bill, which is, which is great to know. He comes from a strong camp, coached by Paul Sutherland. Stable mates include Che Mills, who won fight of the night last time we were here at the, for, uh, the forum. Other to know, a Ronnie Man, so oh, oh, very, very, very good training partners. His ambitions are to make it to the UFC. After all, it was watching the early shows that encouraged him to become a fighter. Now, this guy's been in a cage with fighters like Brad Pickett, Daniel Thomas, Nathan Beer. He's very, very rugged. He likes, his, he likes to use the clinch and knees. He's, he's also not scared to use some crazy kicks and very good off his back. He has, however, struggled against accomplished strikers. And tonight, he's fighting Graham after Bernard Turner. And if accomplished strikers can describe anything, it's Graham's style. Yeah, Graham Turner comes out and just looks to explode and go after his opponent. Let's see if he's got the tools to make this a, a really close competition. Yeah, I mean, over 20 fights on your record, you know, it's a lot of experience. And please welcome his opponent, Graham! Here he is, Graham after Bernard Turner. 
16 and 6, representing the Dinky Ninjas. Now, he usually fights at 66 kilos, so this is going to be um, it's going to be a bit different for him. He's coached by James Doolan and Paul McVeigh. Now, the, the Dinky Ninja fight team are just a well-oiled machine that are churning out very talented fighters year on year. They all seem to have brilliant striking and great conditioning. He's got a very professional approach to the fight game, which has resulted in his in his very impressive record. There's no doubt he's one of the top Scottish fighters right now. This this should bring some fireworks to the forum tonight. Yeah, I don't know what they're putting in the water up in Glasgow, but uh, Dinky Ninja's turning out, uh, you know, as you say, fantastic fighters, uh, you know, left and right. And, uh, you know, Graham Turner going to look to uh, add another win to his record here tonight. He looks a little bit like Robbie Lawler, like a smaller version of Robbie Lawler. Yes, this contest could play into Turner's hands. As I mentioned, Jess Boutis, for me, has struggled against a couple of strikers like Brad Pickett. Um, and, and, and Turner is in that kind of mould. Kerry man Tom McGuire came to MMA late from a predominantly boxing background, but he's wasted no time in getting himself noticed. He's also benefited from training stints in Brazil. My name is Tom McGuire. I fight out of Spirit MMA in Ireland. My record is 7-4. and four. I first started training in martial arts when I was maybe 13. I started doing some Taekwondo. Then I went boxing, and then I started to do a little Jiu-Jitsu and progressed then into MMA. I try and be as well-rounded as I can more just uh, trying to learn everything, bring on my game in every aspect. Tonight I'm fighting Joe Duffy, he's a very good record, he is and all. My game plan will be just try and stay safe for the first round or so, and try and open him up a little bit in the second round. I'll be probably looking to bring him past the second and maybe into the third round. I wouldn't be afraid of going into the later rounds for myself. Joe Duffy is originally from Donegal, Ireland, but was brought up in Wales. He's undefeated and has won every one of his fights inside the first round. What a fantastic prospect. My name is Joseph Duffy. I'm fighting out of Falcons Martial Arts in South Wales, and my pro record is 7-0. I began fighting in martial arts when I was five. My fighting styles, I like to, like to mix it up with the hands, like to work my takedowns if I can, try to use every, uh, every aspect of mixed martial arts if I can. Tonight I'm fighting Tom McGuire. He's a pretty well-rounded fighter, so you know I'm going to need to be in my best form in every area of my game. I believe where people find me out is because um, I've got a well-rounded game and uh, and that explosiveness. And you know, if I do get it to the ground, I don't tend to make many mistakes. I'm happy as long as my arms raise. So Tom McGuire on his way to the cage, seven and four, representing Spirit MMA. 33 years of age. As we saw in that BT, he's been he's been in and around mixed martial arts. Uh, sorry, for martial arts about 20 years. Started with boxing, progressed to jiu-jitsu. Uh, he's he's a very rugged, very well-rounded fighter and looking extremely relaxed as he descends on the cage. Yeah, I remember seeing uh, Tom McGuire fight back in Doncaster a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, took a, a, a tremendous amount of punishment that night and, and still came through. I mean. You know, the guy is very resilient, he's very well-rounded, obviously training, as we said earlier, you know, with John Kavanagh at, at uh, you know, SBG, you know, they're going to have a great ground game, and uh, you know, really looking forward to this fight, he's got a, a tough opponent in Joe Duffy. Yeah, uh, he has his hands full here, and as we see, he's got a game plan, he wants to take it past the first round, which no one else has done with Duffy, uh, into the latter stages, trying to impose his will. Ten years, Duffy's senior as well. So it's uh, one for the old guard if, if he's victorious this evening. We're going back to S SBG and John Cavanaugh. We we've seen um, we've seen his guys this evening, and, I, and and a lot of the guys that have trained here, uh, sorry, have fought here on Cage Warriors, have, have had some sort of connection or have passed through his gym. He, he's he's just a fantastic coach. Yeah, I can't say enough good things. And please welcome his opponent, Joe Duffy! For those of 
those of you that don't know, Joseph Duffy, he is 8-0. He's unbeaten, he's representing Falcon Martial Arts, the Irishman fighting out of Wales. 23 years old, had a Taekwondo kickboxing background and, and also a bit of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as well. Very strong amateur pedigree. Uh, he debuted as a pro when he was just 18. Now I spoke with his coach earlier, who he's, who he's been with since, since he was about five. Um, recently he hit the headlines as he as he went into the, the Ultimate Fighter show and he unfortunately he faced semi-finalist Carl Watson and, and was eliminated. Uh, but apart from that, this guy, he just knows how to win, he, he hasn't lost. He's got a great submission game, knockout power, he's looking to make a statement tonight. He's been quoted in saying that he doesn't want to be regarded as an average fighter. Um, he wasn't happy with his last performance at, at Cage Warriors 39, which is ridiculous. He steamed through his opponent. Uh, I, I think it was done, uh, he won by arm triangle within a minute. But, but he's a perfectionist. He's, that's just how he likes the fight. And he will look to improve every aspect of his game. And, and I just, uh, he's just, he's just a joy to watch. It's a professional mixed martial arts bout to be fought over three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. <laughs> 